What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the falling transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect is really easy to do uh, if you film it correctly. We'll get more into that when we get into the tutorial. But if you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys want to learn about filmmaking or editing, please make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right guys, enough talking. Let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and get started. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, these are the two clips that we're going to be working with today. So the first clip is actually me just falling backwards onto my bed. And then the next clip is me walking backwards and then falling back onto the sand. So one thing that we have to do to make this effect work is we have to make sure that we're facing in different directions. So right here, you can see that I am actually facing towards the right. And then the next clip I'm facing towards the right also. This won't work for this transition. So it's actually an easy fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the down to the left hand side under effects and we're gonna type in flip. You're gonna come down and you should see horizontal flip. We're just gonna drag that onto our clip. And now when we zoom back out, you could see that I am facing the other direction now. So that is perfect. You can also can avoid this just by filming it this way to begin with, but obviously I did not. So now all we're gonna be doing is masking out this bed. First, let's go down to our first clip here and you're gonna hold down option and drag up to make a duplicate of this clip. So when we're masking, we can actually see what we're masking out. Now you wanna make sure that you have the bottom clip selected. So we're just gonna click on that bottom clip now you're gonna come over to the left hand side under opacity and you're gonna click on this free draw pen tool. All we're gonna do is search for the first point where the bed starts showing the rest of the room. So right here, you can see it kind of peeking out. So we're gonna start masking right there. And we're actually gonna be masking backwards today and you'll see why in a second. Before you start masking, make sure you always turn on your mask path and see that a keyframe has been made. Uh, just so uh, it tracks your mask and then you're gonna come down and this will make your life a lot easier You're gonna come down and you're gonna turn from fit to 25% so now you can mask outside of the frame Now we're just gonna create a little mask around that bed frame We're just gonna move this up a little bit and there you go Now you can see that we have the bed uh, actually masked out here all right, so now we're just gonna begin the mask and um, I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it. Also, you guys don't have to make this mask really accurate because we're going to actually be feathering this mask a ton in a second. All right, so it's done now and it follows the bed kind of. It's not super accurate, but it will do for this tutorial. So now you can just delete that top clip uh, we, won't, we don't need it anymore and after you do that you'll see that the bed is masked out. We actually don't want that so you're going to want to click the clip, come over to the left hand side and we're going to actually invert that. So once you invert it you'll see that you're back in the shot and that it will gradually go to black. See this really harsh um, line right here? So we're actually gonna start feathering this. Um, to do that, all you're gonna do is come over to the left hand side. We're gonna go under the mask and we're gonna go to mask feather and we're just gonna turn that up really high. So I usually like it around 250 to 300 for this effect. You can also mess with the mask expansion, but um, really all you need to do is feather it out a ton. And then uh, yeah, once you're done with that, you'll see it's a lot more soft. All right, so that clip is actually done now. So now we're gonna move on to the other shot of the beach. So right here, the first thing that we're gonna actually have to do here is we're gonna make this fit really quick and we're going to see um, where we wanna start. So since we're going backwards, we're gonna to come to the top under clip and go to speed and duration. And now all you're gonna do is click on reverse speed. So this will make it go backwards and then click okay. And now we can find the spot we wanted to start. So right here is when I fell, so I wanna cut it right when I'm getting up, like right when I'm about to get up. So right here is pretty good. We're gonna trim that down. And then 
See, I just pushed myself off the floor and now I'm walking forward. All that's left to do now is find a spot where we want to trim. So we're gonna go down to fit and we're gonna make that to 25%. Then we're gonna click on this clip and we're gonna hit option and hold push up to make it copy. Or you can always do command C and then command V. Then you're gonna come over to the left hand side, click on the mask tool again and create a little mask in the corner, in the bottom left corner. That looks pretty good to me. And now make sure you hit mask path so it creates a keyframe here. And then to get your um, mask back, you're just gonna click on the mask and it'll pop back into the frame. And now I'm just gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it. A really good tip is to find something that's on the floor to actually um, align with your mask to make it easier to hold something in frame to follow while you're masking. For me, I found this little white pebble in the bottom corner and I kind of just followed that. The last thing you're gonna have to do is at the last keyframe, you're gonna wanna move that out of the frame so that it kind of comes into the frame. So as you see here, and then move it out. Delete the top clip. And now you'll see that all is in the frame is the sand, which we don't want. So we're gonna come back to the left hand side under mask and click invert. Now, what we're gonna do again is we're just going to feather this like crazy. As you can tell, this line is really harsh. So under mask again, and we're just gonna put that feather up a ton. That looks pretty good to me. All right, and now you can tell I just get up. It kind of looks like I'm getting up from the floor. Now all that's left to do is put these two clips together and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed.